Yo, how's it going guys? It's your boy Trey and I'm back with a new video and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk KSI and Joella's Fight! No? Only joking guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Football and today we are talking the enemy, Real Madrid, oh gosh. <laughs> Now guys, this was suggested to me by a fan on Snapchat. The guy messaged me and he was like, yo, Trey, do you think Real Madrid have lost their squad depth? And I was thinking, you know what? That's a really good question. I mean, it's a general question to all of you guys. So I want you guys to leave as many comments as you can down below, letting me know what you guys think of this situation. Has Real Madrid lost their depth in that squad? Now, before we get into the video, guys, if you want to get yourself a football jersey like I'm rocking right now, make sure you check out elmontyusoccer.com and you'll be able to get yourself a new football jersey for cheap. And if you use the discount code TREY, you'll be able to get yourself an extra 20% off your final order. So do it! Now guys, this is a genuine question. It's a really, really, really good question. Cause I can understand why people will be asking this question, but first things first guys, you need to understand one thing about football. It's still early in the season, okay guys? I can understand the results for Real Madrid are not looking really good lately, but it's early in the season. There's still 35 games to be played. For people who are worrying, yes, I can kind of understand because Real Madrid They've been winning pretty much every game they've been playing. So yeah, I can understand why some fans might be feeling a bit low. You know, they could be losing their confidence a little bit in the team. But guys, it's still early in the season. And to those people who are messaging me saying, congratulations, Barcelona have won the league after three games. Guys, seriously? Like, seriously? I mean, come on, really? I mean, I get it. We are four points ahead of Real Madrid after three games. Yes, I get that. But, like I said, there's still 35 games to be played. But yes, the question is, have they lost squad depth? And the truth is, in a sense, yes. I can understand why people will be asking that question because I did get asked that question by quite a few people. And I can understand why they will be asking that question because let's be honest, the people they lost were world-class players. The three main players, James Rodriguez, Alvaro Morata, and Pepe. Amazing players guys, absolutely amazing players. Let's be honest, I'm pretty sure everybody in this world would have any of those guys in their team and that includes me. But guys, yes, we know Real Madrid did lose these world class players. But at the same time guys, they still managed to bring in some new fresh talent. What you gotta remember about Real Madrid right now, they're building for the future. They're not buying older players, they're not doing what Barcelona are doing, buying. Paulinho, who's 29 years old from the Super League. No, they're buying young, fresh faces, okay? Which is a smart way to invest in your team. But guys, you gotta give these kids time to adopt to their new surroundings, okay? It's not easy moving from whatever team you're coming from to jumping into a Real Madrid team, okay? But it's not gonna be an easy thing to do because filling in for someone like Alvaro Morata, somebody who's been playing at a high level for a couple of years, it's not gonna be easy filling in for someone like Pepe, a guy who's known worldwide for being a complete beast, a destroyer, okay? You're not gonna replace that overnight. It's not something that you do overnight. It takes time. And as for someone like James Rodriguez, that guy was a world-class player who deserved a heck of a lot more play time. But because of the team Real Madrid have, the guy had to settle for the bench. This guy is a world-class attacking midfielder who can score goals, who can assist, who can take free kicks. His vision is painfully good. We saw what he did at the World Cup in 2014. These are accomplished players okay and losing them it does mean yes your team will suffer a little bit yes that's definitely gonna happen but people were saying Asensio did step up when Ronaldo wasn't available and let's be honest the kid did step up absolutely incredible player absolutely amazing but guys you need to give him more time he is not Ronaldo, okay? He is not Ronaldo. Asensio plays more as an attacking midfielder. He's not further up forward like Cristiano is. Yes, he's been banging in goals. Yes, definitely. Hell, he banged in two crazy goals against my team, okay? Stuff that left me thinking, why 
in gosh name Dean would pay an extra 10 million on top just to buy the kid even though Mayoko were offering him for like 4 million seriously the kid is good but he still needs time to improve himself but guys you still get people saying things like look what happened against Valencia we didn't win that game we should have won that game well I mean Valencia are a hard team for Real Madrid they always have been one of those teams that give Real Madrid a hard game we all know it home and away Valencia are a really hard team for Real Madrid to beat then people start talking about what happened with Levante yesterday yes the Levante game I can understand but guys you have to look at the starting 11 that you had on your team guys it was not the strongest Real Madrid team okay Marcel was being played as a left winger guys come on okay I mean seriously you have to look at it from the coach's point of view you guys have a Champions League game coming very very soon obviously you're gonna need to rest some players players like Modric who did not start so it meant that a player like Lorente had to start Rafael Varane who's taken over the position that Pepe was covering had to be replaced by Nacho. Now this is not me saying Nacho is a bad player because Nacho is not a bad player, he's a really really good player. When we talk Pepe and Ramos, these guys have been playing for Real Madrid as a partnership for how many years? I mean, let's be honest, same with Marcelo for how many years as the left back. It's the same with everybody who joins a big club. You will need time to adopt. Look at Neymar when he joined Barcelona. He didn't have a great season in his first season. It was a decent season, but it wasn't a great season. It wasn't the name that we know. I mean, for example, look at Luka Modric. How long did it take him to get used to his Madrid surroundings coming from Tottenham? It took him a season or two, okay? I remember there was even a year where people were saying, we don't want Modric in Madrid anymore. But look at him now. The guy is pretty much the best midfielder in the world right now. Real Madrid, yes, they have lost a bit of their squad depth. Yes, most definitely, because replacing players like that is not going to be easy. Alvaro Morata is a natural goal scorer. I'm still confused over why they sold him over Benzema, but I can kind of understand because Benzema works well, like really, really well with Ronaldo. But at the same time, you've got to look at Morata. The guy was scoring goals for the fun of it last season. I'm pretty sure he scored more goals than Benzema coming from the bench. You know, the guy didn't play as many games as Benzema did, but the guy was scoring at such a rate, it was absolutely ridiculous. So replacing that, guys, is not going to be easy. And let's be honest, Real Madrid didn't really buy an out-and-out -out striker to cover that position that was left by Morata. But covering for someone like Pepe, however, that's not going to be an easy fix because Pepe was a commander in that Real Madrid defense. Yes, Sergio Ramos is the captain, but Pepe was the destroyer of that. Pepe, if you see the passion that he used to put in his games, yes, he used to break legs. We all know that. Yes, he would play dirty, but he would play dirty for his team. He would do everything he could to win a game. That was Pepe, and that's a character that is not easy to come by, guys. So, yes, guys, I'm just going to keep on repeating myself, and I'm going to say it again, guys. This is why I'm not getting overly excited about Barcelona winning their first three games, because things can change. I'm still not fully confident with the squad we have at Barcelona. Yes, it's great that we're winning the game, but at the same time, it's still too early, okay? You can lose games easily. It can happen at any time. So yes, I can understand the worries that some Madridistas are getting. I mean, the only thing I'll be worried about right now, if I was Real Madrid, is the next game that you guys have against Real Sociedad. The only reason I'm saying it, guys, is simply because Ronaldo is out, Karim Benzema is injured, and Marcelo also is out. But that's about it when it comes to Real Madrid and a little bit about my team before I bounce, guys. Yes, my team are playing really, really well, surprisingly. Um, I will be honest, I'm a bit surprised by the previous results we've had over the past few games. I am really, 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 really surprised about those results. I mean, right now it's making it look like that messy dependency is coming back because that's pretty much... All that's been happening, Messi has just been saving Barcelona pretty much every game. Yesterday's game, Messi scored a hat-trick. The game before that, he scored two goals, both goals. And the one before that, he hit the post like three, four times. It's like, yes, Messi dependency, it feels like it's coming back, guys. It's not a really good thing. I mean, it's really not a good thing, but at the same time, as long as the team is winning, I'm happy with my team. I'm very, very happy with my team. The signings that Barcelona made, they seem to be working pretty well so far. But again, I'm not going to get overly hyped about it because, like I said, it's too early in the season. Same with the Dembele situation. Yes, he got an assist, but that's just one game. 
okay? There's 35 more league games to be played, and that's not including the Champions League and the Copa del Rey and everything else that comes with it. And also, another player who's impressed me from Barcelona who's been signed, Nelson Semedo. The kid has been playing brilliantly. He's the only one I can say right now. At this moment in time, he's the perfect fit for what we needed. The kid has been playing absolutely brilliantly in the right back position. Absolutely amazing. And to those Madridistas who are messaging me on Snapchat saying congratulations on winning the league, just don't, okay? Don't, okay? Just do not do that. It's too early for that, okay? It's only been three games, guys, so don't worry about it too much. You've got time to fix things. Obviously, I'm hoping you don't because I want Barcelona to win the league. But that is it from me, guys. I want to know what you guys think about this. This one was a question to Madridsters. Do you think Real Madrid have lost their squad depth since losing Morata, Pepe and James? Do you think they've lost their squad depth? Even though they did bring in a couple of players in, do you think those players were the right players to be brought into the team? Or do you think they were the wrong players? I want to know about it. Hit me up in the comments, guys. I'm going to be reading them because I want to know. It's a really, really good question that was sent to me by one of my subscribers who messaged me on Snapchat, which is on the screen right now, guys. If you want to speak to me on Snapchat and ask me these questions, do message me, guys, because this is something I love doing. I love talking about football. I love knowing how other fans are feeling about their team. Hit me up on Snapchat or on Twitter if you want to speak to me or on Instagram, whichever platform you use. Hit me up and we will talk about it. So guys, that is it from me. Yes, it's a bit weird. I'm wearing my Barcelona jersey, but I'm talking about Real Madrid for most of the video. But you know what, guys? I will always represent my team no matter what. And if you want to represent your team, check out El Monte, guys. You already know about El Monte. I've spoke about them over the past few days. Go check them out, guys. Get yourself a new football jersey for your team. Christmas is coming soon, guys. Holiday season, they are coming. Buy yourself some new gear. All the information you need, guys, is in the description box down below. And like I said, you know about that discount code, guys. Do not forget it. And that is it from me, guys. I'm going to bounce and leave you guys to it. And please, leave a thumbs up if you want to see more of these Let's Talks. And I'm going to bounce, guys. I love y'all. Thank you so much for the support lately. It's been crazy. So a massive thank you to JC Record, dude on Snapchat. He messaged me. He was the first person to ask me this question. So I thought, you know what, guy? I'll give you a quick shout out, dude. Thank you for asking me that. And also, guys, another quick shout out to Raheem Patel, man. You hit me up on Instagram with a little chat no longer ago. Dude, you're a freaking legend. And that's it from me, guys. I'm on a bounce, and I'll see you guys in the next video that is due very, very soon. I'm out guys, see you later, deuces.